Well, <clears throat> I like the work boats, the old working boats, and, and that's mostly what I teach at the school is, is old wooden working boats because they've time tested. They've gotten people home. They've gotten fishermen home. They've gotten loggers home. They're, 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 they, were, they were designed by people that, that knew what, what they were up against. They, they knew what the, what the wave action was. They knew, you know, where the shoals were. They knew what, what they needed to get out of a boat. And so they, they, you know, typically make very good cruising boats. They make very good recreational boats because they're stable, they're sturdy, they, they're uh, user-friendly. And uh, so that's what, that's what I enjoy. Uh, uh, about wooden boats is we've got old timey ideas connected with them. They're, they're, uh, they're proven. You know, North House's mission, I think, is a really inspiring statement. North House's mission, enrich lives, build community through the teaching of traditional northern crafts. In a typical year, North House hosts about 350 different classes featuring the artistic talents of about a hundred different regional artisans who teach for us in a typical year. From timber framing and boat building to wood fired baking and um, blacksmithing, fiber arts to, um, to digital photography. You know, people say that when they walk on campus here that they, that they feel something different. And the idea that, um, you know, our hands were created to do things. And you'll meet students who said, I had no idea that I could do this. There's a long history with uh, timber framing, and there are different timber framing styles from in different parts of the, the country as well as different parts of the world. This style is basically a style that was developed in the Americas in about the year 1800. Um, but there's there's lots of different joinery styles other places. I just came back from Norway where I studied about a very old traditional Norwegian style of timber framing that has its roots back uh, with the Vikings and um, very different joinery. Um, the end product looks very much the same though unless you look closely at how things are put together. In a timber frame you always end up having these big timbers that you see and, and obviously to get a big timber you need a fairly good sized tree. It's not just a a little dinky tree. It's it's got to be a pretty good sized tree, and you actually see the tree. You see that piece. You can tell that that was a tree in the frame. 
an amazing variety of students have come to take our classes. Um, we, we've had students who have never touched a circular saw before and never cut a piece of wood. And we've had professional cabinet makers. And they all learn and they learn from each other during the class, which is, you know, a huge part of North House is learning from each other, um, from your fellow students as well as the instructor. Timber framing involves um, a lot of real historical knowledge and passing on that knowledge. And, and a big part of timber framing is the joinery of how, how the timbers fit together uh, to form um, a building to create a structure of some kind. years ago that I was living in Rochester and I'd always loved pottery and I went to the Rochester Art Center to take a pottery lesson and I got clay put my hands in the clay centered through a pot the very first time I tried it was uh, I'd like to say if there was a previous life I'd been a potter because it was just innate it was just there and I mean the excitement but I remember going home and saying I found it I found the thing that I'm meant to do. I said, my greatest passion is sitting at the wheel throwing, but, but it's not done that. And I, I like the, the um, someone once said, when you put your heart and soul into making that pot, the pot can break, but your essence has been built in with the process of forming it. Some basic things that you learn and is how to make a chisel, how to make a punch out of car springs, you know, and tempering and drawing and twisting and, you know, all the things you need to know. Metalworking has been part of my life. You know, uh, you start a torch up and you make something. You know, you bend it and twist it and, you know, you make something. 